Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Isa. If you guys are new here, I am home for the holidays, based in New York City, and I thought I would do a little low beauty secrets moment to kind of do an updated, in-depth, five-minute makeup routine. The last time I did this was two years ago when I first moved to New York, and I've changed a lot, and my makeup has definitely changed a lot, so I wanted to put you guys onto what I'm currently wearing on my face. Nothing, obviously, right now. <laughs> I'm not wearing anything. Honestly, I'm someone who doesn't really wear makeup very frequently. So if we ever meet in public, you will catch me like this. But when I get glammed up or even just like put on a little bit, this is what I do to enhance my features rather than to like make myself look like a different person. So the goal is to just like enhance what you already have. Honestly, I really love makeup videos. I feel like I learn a lot from other Asian girlies. So I hope that you guys can watch this video and leave feeling very feminine and confident. I always think of YouTube as like a space where there's a younger version of myself and I hope that whoever's watching this can feel like, wow, I actually learned something and I'm gonna come back because Issa makes me feel this way. After I went to Korea in March, this sun serum changed my life. It's the Beauty of Joseon. It's not a sunscreen, but a serum, and it just makes my skin so dewy. I used to use American brands for my sunscreen, but this is just the perfect dewy base. I wear this every day. Right now, I'm not wearing anything, but after I put this on, you can see the difference legitimately. So I put that over my skin and I put this at my door and literally just run out, but I usually just put two pumps and rub it all over. And that is a dewy ass base. That is so good. The next thing I do is I use the Tear Tear Foundation. I also recently got put onto this. It's just so easy to reapply. Look at this. Look at this difference when I'm applying it. These two together have really made my skin so flawless when I go out and I get a ton of compliments. When I'm taking IG pics, literally anything. Ta-da. So next, to cover up dark circles and imperfections, I'm going to use the YSL Beauty Concealer. So it just comes on really smoothly and I usually apply it under. I don't know why I haven't changed my technique. But I apply it like this and I put a little bit on the end and then I use my ring finger to blend it. I actually do not use a beauty blender. I should, but I find that beauty blenders are less sanitary than my own hands because I am constantly washing my hands. So I just blend this out and then I kind of like wipe the remnants onto where else I think needs concealer. So we'll just go like this and then put it under my nose, like blend it. Okay. The concealer is done and you can see that now we're starting off super fresh and this already makes a difference. Like this and curled lashes, I'll also be out the door. I have been obsessed with the Say Beauty Liquid Dew Bronze. This is just called the Dew Bronze, but I use the shade Swim and I took a Beauty Say Beauty masterclass when I went upstate with them to the Catskills about a month ago now and I learned a lot. So. I actually, because I have a round face, I just apply a couple of dots to the top part of my cheekbones, <laughs> wherever they are, and I just apply it like this, and I blend upwards so that it kind of does more of like a shaping. This is just so good for summer. I'm just gonna blend upwards. So I kind of do like these round motions until the color is gone. I'm gonna make this kissy face, and I just follow my cheekbones, essentially. You can kind of see how it brings more definition and my face looks as flat. It looks like she's tan, she's glowy, she's confident, she's out and ready to tackle summer. I also love pairing it with the blush and I also just will add little dots. It's a killer combo. Today though, this, I'm sorry guys, this blush is really fire. They sent me the PR kit and I've gotten to try all of them, but after I got my color personality test, I just like stick to the warm corals, especially for summer. So I'm gonna show you guys the consistency and how effing good this is. You just roll it up and it's so pigmented. I literally put too much. So I put the bronzer here and I'm putting the blush kind of above and adjacent to it. Like, look at this glow. Put a little bit on my nose. She's so peachy keen. 
I love it. And then I will just kind of like put the remnants on my upper eyelid. I'm actually obsessed. I love it so much. Guys, this is so fucking good. We are almost done. So I'm gonna do my brows next. The order of how I apply makeup is kind of random. It's just off of like what I feel like next. So I'm going to use this brow pencil. It's just one from L'Oreal. Honestly, any drugstore one works. It can be from Maybelline. It can be from Etude House. It can be from Anastasia, Beverly Hills, even if you want. This one is just kind of like cheap and is like a taupe cool brown, which is why I like it. And I actually dye my brows lighter in Korea, but I don't like to do black brows because it this does not work with my face. I did it last year and it looked so dark, but I'm gonna show you how I fill them. I literally just do the ends, but that is about it for the brows. I sometimes add brow gel. We are reaching the final steps. So I'm going to be using this Valentino blush and it's the eye to cheek palette, which I thought was really cute. And this blush is actually cool toned but I think it's really pretty and shimmery and it comes with a brush, which is why I love it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit higher up cause I almost feel like this makes me think I'm setting the blush I already have, but just like finishing it off. And then I go to my eyes, but all of this makeup in this video is gifted and I feel very, very, very thankful because obviously the, I know these are expensive and not Think products that you can like typically buy on a whim like so if you need an alternative definitely look into by roman d they have perfect pink shimmery palettes i also use those at the time this is just what i have at home right now and what i've been really liking for summer this like any of the brands that i'm using there are always alternatives this is just the technique that i do when applying i'm going to take my eyelash curler i use this one from shiseido and it's the best one you guys, this is the difference with just a curl. No curl and curl. If we had naturally curly lashes, we would slay too hard. So that's why we were born with straight ones, but. Okay, the lashes are done. We're gonna put mascara now. And I use the Tower 28 mascara, but I love this because it's a tubing mascara. So it's easy to remove. Whereas the Japanese one that I always use, you need to have a remover because it's so strong and waterproof. So I'm just gonna, there's a bee on my window. I'm gonna just apply this mascara. Mascara is on now. I'm going to put eyeliner. I switch between just like a black one that I can smudge and also liquid. I'm gonna go with the liquid today and I'm just gonna put it on the corner. And it's just like this really cute brown. But yeah, I just put a couple layers of the brown only on the corners and I will like put it on the edge and then use my nail just kind of like sharpen it up. To finish off, I use the Glossier Grip Lippy and this lip liner is also so stunning and so amazing. And if I'm feeling extra glowy and extra in general, just a little bit, I will put my Chanel powder and I'm gonna use this brush. And all of their highlights and balms are so perfect for this. I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones. <gasps> you can see that so clearly. It's like this pearly finish. Use my pinky and I'll put just like a little on my nose. And I'll also put some on my eyelid. That is it for my updated summer everyday makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it. In case you're wondering where my stunning jewelry is from, it is from a jury. You guys can use the link in my description to go shop. I had so much filming it, and these are just like your perfect everyday jewels to go along with your everyday makeup for your everyday girl. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments or DM me, tag me if you guys implement any of these things into your makeup routine. I had so much fun filming it. I was like, wait, I actually think I got this down. As I was trying to explain what I do, I realize I actually have a routine. This is just what works with me and my features. So I had so much fun and I cannot recommend these products that I use in the video enough. I just feel like if you're gonna treat yourself, cut out 10 of those coffees and matches and treat yourself to one of these nice products because you deserve it and it'll last you a whole year. Unless you use expired makeup, low key, sometimes I'll be doing that, but don't tell anybody. And 
this is the finished result.